Hey, I'm back today to do a full face. I came out to the living room where I think the light will be a lot better, where you can kind of see what's going on. I also have one of these little lights, and I'm going to try to make it better to see. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyes first. I'm going to start with this LA Girl concealer on my eyes. I am going to use a little mirror here, but uh, I'll try to stay where you can see what's going on. I'm just gonna, this is just kind of how I prime them. I think it kind of blanks them out a little bit better. I guess I can see in here okay. Then I'm going to grab my powder. Okay, so this is my powder that I'm just gonna use. I use the lightest, it's the um, BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. I just use the lightest, I don't know, highlight. I think it's supposed to be a highlight shade, but I don't, I don't think it has much sparkle to it or anything. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do uh, my brows. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm just using the uh, Essence Brow Set. Brows Wow, excuse me. There is a little mirror in here, so I will just use that. I'm just gonna kinda spoolie them down. And this is probably the dark, dark palette. That little light, I just turned it on and it is pretty much dead. So, you know, it's like a one of those little ones you clip on your phone that you can take a selfie with. I just thought maybe it would be good for just a little bit of light out here, but apparently no. I'll keep trying new things. I found the light set that Style Mom XO bought. It's the umbrella lights. Like three umbrella lights for like $56, which I thought was really cheap. And she said they're really good. It's just hard to, I'd have to set it up and take it down every single time. Which, I mean, it's like not that big of a deal. But it would just be nice to have something that could just sort of stay. I mean, if I had a room to do this in, it would be different than just setting stuff up here. Okay. Then I'll just bully them again. Like that. Okay. Then I will start on my... Okay, I'm going to start on my eyeshadow. Tomorrow is July 4th, so I'm going to do a kind of a July 4th look. So this is um, Glow Stick from ColourPop. I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight, which I think will be kind of cool. Let me see. Hopefully it looks good. Um, I might have to use my finger. That's not very... It's not showing up a lot. Let me try it with a Q-tip. I feel like this one's just really dry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't this one just feels really dry to me. The brush was picking up nothing. You see it? Hmm. 
not really what I was hoping for. I mean, like this, you can't even see it at all. Let me try my finger again. I'll dig inside of it. Look, I mean, look, it looks really pretty. Maybe I'm going to have to just really go for it. Look at that. I mean, come on, that should look beautiful. Well, I kind of got it all over. <sighs> got a lot on. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to fix that. I've got more on my nose than I did on my face. Okay. All right. I didn't say this was perfect, okay? <laughs> It'll be fine. If not, it doesn't matter either. I'm gonna use NYX Glitter Glue. This light is pretty much worthless for filming videos. It does do good on pictures. I tried it the other day for one. I'm just not, I don't, I'm just not it. You know, people take Instagram pictures and they just look so pretty. I mean, they're just, their makeup was really, looks perfect and I don't know. I need to take a class, I think. Because these girls are like 16 and their pictures look like professional photographs. Okay, I should probably spread that out a little bit more. It's very sticky. But I don't want to go too high with it because it clings and it, uh, it does not look good. Okay, first palette by Juvia's Place. This is what, I'm going to use the red in this one. The very top called Sokoto. I don't know if that's right. And this does not have a mirror. That's one thing about these palettes. They don't have a mirror. Okay, I'm just going to go into the crease. I, I can see the glow stick now. I mean, obviously, it's going to look crazy until it's completely done. <laughs> I'm sure you can hear all kinds of sounds. It's just not ever quiet, so. I think I'm just going to do one eye, and then I'll just do the other eye on my own. Um, I'm going to use ColourPop in Coconut. It's a really pretty blue. I used it yesterday or the other day. I'm gonna use it with my finger. Look how pretty. And I have that really sticky glitter glue base. careful with these shadows. I'm just trying to get a really good base to this. And then I can go in with a brush and fix it. I mean, I know that looks insane. And I messed up my shadow. I got too carried away with, with it. These shadows are really finicky. I love them. I love the feel and the consistency, but they really, they're really touchy, I feel like. Okay. I'm just going to go in. I put a little bit on this brush. Then 
going to take some more of the red to kind of blend. So there's no crazy looking line. <laughs> this looks, the process is not pretty. I don't know how I feel about this glow stick and now that it's in place. I'll clean it up. It'll be okay. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. Then I'll switch over to the red. Then I'm going to take a clean brush up here and just sort of blend this out. I think that looks pretty good. Of course, I will clean up the sides as soon as I do the lower lash. I have a NYX, one of those slide on, glide on, sunrise blue. It's kind of pretty. We'll see. Oh, that's, this is difficult to do. Uh, slide on, glide on, I don't know about that. Maybe this one's dry. It felt extremely dry and it, I think it went right in my eyeball. I like to get right in. Once I fix, once I finish this, I'll fix the way the shadow is laying. I'm just going to take this Q-tip and some of that coconut on it. And just, because I don't want to use a brush. I mean, I will use a brush down here, but when it touches my eyeball, I want to just throw it away after that. I mean, I can always go wash it. Okay, let me see how this looks. It's going to need some cleanup work. Okay. So let me get my makeup. What? Yeah, I can feel that eyeliner in my eye. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to take this makeup wipe, get some of that glow stick cleaned up, and then I just figure out how I want the shape to be and I just sort of drag it across my face to get the shape that I want. That's the way I figure it's best without doing the tape. I, I've tried the tape and it does work. But it's just, I feel like it's hard to get it even on both sides. Because I'll be like, oh, this looks great. And then I'll take the tape off the other side and they're completely different. And I'm like, you know, then what do you do? You're stuck. You can't fix it. So, okay, then I'm going to take, I don't know why I should do that. I'm going to take this again and just go up to my brow bone. I wish you could just see this mess that piling up out here. It'll take a while to clean that up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to do liquid liner. Cross, oh wait, before I get involved with that, I'm going to curl my eyelash. I 
I'm still using the Ordinary Skincare. I like it, but I just don't think I know what I should be doing. Like, Wayne Goth put out that guide to, um, like, what kind of skin type you have, what you should use. And I think I have all the stuff. But I don't know like what to mix with what or what's not going to work with something. I'm going to just take this Chad Killer from the Juvia's Place palette. I'm just kind of go over this. I'm not going to go carried away with this liner either. Because I don't want it to take away from... And I'm going to take this makeup wipe again and just kind of clean that up. Okay, then I'll do a little um, mascara on this eye. And then I will go do my other eye and come back and we'll do foundation and the other things. This I got in an Ipsy bag. Do, do say Dulce, D-U-D-O-U-C-C-E. Max Lash Volumizing Mascara. It's okay. The brush reminds me of a lawn comb brush from forever, 100 years ago, probably. But I, it's okay. I just started getting Ipsy bags. And, you know, it's okay. I don't know if it's... I really, I don't know. I mean, I just kind of want to see for a while. If not, I'll just cancel it. But I think BoxyCharm is better because you do get full-size products. I think it's it's 20 a month. But if I got a bunch of full-size stuff that I would actually use, I think, I really think this is the only thing I've used from my BoxyCharm this month. It came with... Oh, well, it came with a probiotic cream. I've been putting that on my neck. Um, it came with a NYX, I think one of those matte lip creams. I gave it to my daughter because I don't like it. It makes your lips really dry feeling. Powdery, not dry, powdery. That's not really for me. This look would be beautiful with big eye, like, big eyelashes. I have tiny eyelashes. I can't even remember what else that Ipsy bag came with. I can't, so obviously it wasn't that great. Um, oh, about the ordinary skincare. So, I kind of use some of, you know, I use every, I use it every night, but I just don't know, like, do these products work good together? Do I put them all on? I mean, there's like eight products. Do I wear the, all of them at the same time? How many things can you mix at one time? I don't know. Okay. So... This is what the eye looks like. And I actually think I'm going to take a little of this NYX glitter. It's the blue one. It doesn't have a name. 109. I don't see a name. Oh, wait. 109 Crystal Aqua. And I think I'm going to put this, like, on the top. Kind of wing it out. Just because it is the 4th of July. This is my 4th of July look. If you got glow stick on, you might as well put glitter on. Okay. Just like that. Just... 
I don't know if I like the glitter. I think I maybe should have done it without glitter. Oh well, it's too late now. Okay, I'm gonna do my other eye and then I'll be back. Okay, I did both eyes. This is what the look is like. Now we're gonna go in with foundation. I just kind of am mixing. I mix on this little steel, stainless steel thing. Okay, I'm just gonna, I just kind of wipe it on first. Okay, then I take my sponge. Okay, I had to get my sponge wet. gonna get this on. I mixed about three different foundations. To get this kind of color. get real tight up in here. <coughs> okay. I just make sure I get it even coat. Whoops. I'll fix that later. It's easier to do your foundation first, but it's just so much nicer to do your eyes first and then you don't have all that fallout all over your face. Because it was taking me forever to like blend that out and figure it out. Get it all cleared away. Make sure you go down your neck. Kind of just take it and just drag it by like behind your ears. All the way down. Sorry about my phone. It usually doesn't go off very often. I just kind of press it in to my problem areas, which is most of my face, from my eyes down. <laughs> and I mixed Estee Lauder Double Wear with the um, NYX Fluid Drops, or what are they called? Uh, foundation Drops. I mixed those together for this. Looks kind of dewy. I think it looks okay. I just kind of have a little bit more sun than normal. see that. Okay, then I'm going to do a little bit of concealer. Just a little. I don't want a crazy amount of concealer because I don't have real dark circles or anything. I just like my under eye to be just a little bit lighter. Take one of these tiny 
little beauty blender, the little egg, the little tiny. And I'll just put it in some of my loose powder. And just bake my under eye for a little bit. I don't know what to do with this. I just kind of go mildly crazy. <laughs> I just try to press it down. Kind of. I don't get this one wet either. I just use this one dry. Okay. Wipe off my palette. And then I'm going to go in with... Um, I'm not even going to put any more powder on this. I'm just going to do this little number. Then I'm going to take, I think it's this ColourPop bronzer, open it, and just a uh, little angle brush. I think this one's from Tokidoki. Does anyone remember that? They used to sell it at Sephora long, long ago. This one's kind of hard to wipe off because it's like creamy. I'm going to have to look in this mirror. Go up to your hairline. Oh, that's weird. Wayne Goss, remember, he did a video about... People contouring their forehead that shouldn't but he said if you have a big forehead you can still contour it this doesn't look like very much in the video it's hard to really see if this is a lot the lighting out here I don't know I guess you do need like studio lights to get this right I should get a job at like a news station so I could use their setup. <laughs> Gotta do the also. Okay, this is on a very uneven surface here. I don't want it to look like crazy fake or anything. But when you have like a really oval, big face, you kind of have to put more, put your features back. I, I don't know. I mean, put some shape into your face. I don't know. I'm going to put a tiny bit of powder over it. I'll probably get in that sunlight and I'll look crazy. <laughs> um, then I'm going to do a little bit of blush. And I think I'm going to use ColourPop Cheerio. I've never used this one. Looks pretty bright. I forgot to take my bronzer brush 
and I just kind of go onto the sides. Nothing like major, no major contouring here. But I just feel like it gives my nose a little, I don't know, something different. And bottom lip area. People are like, whoa, is that Kylie Jenner? <laughs> Joking. Okay. Blush is alright. Then I'm gonna take um, my powder, and I'm not gonna do a lot. I just press my brush in there. I'm just gonna kind of, I just kind of go over the top, and then I wipe my bake off, just to kind of blend it in, blend down my neck. I just don't like how like heavy powder looks. And then I'm this is probably like seems like excessive, but okay. Then I need to go grab my um, highlighter. Okay, so I'm going to use Honeymoon from ColourPop. It's, look how blue it looks. Look how pretty. Okay, let's see. If it'll show up at all. My light's all but dead. <laughs> My little light. really pretty. It is hard for me to see out here because of the light, but it's pretty. It's real creamy. Kind of go up here a little. It's just really hard to know if I've gotten too much when I go down my nose. Just dust a little over my eyebrows. Maybe you can see it better. Oh yeah, there. I look like a ball of glitter. That's something I don't want to go too crazy with. Okay. Then I am going to wipe off my lips with this makeup wipe. Sorry, I have to look at myself. Get this off. And then wipe off my piercing here. And I'm going to take Nick's Lip Butter in Peaches and Cream. I like the butter, lip butter. So I think that's the look. I'm going to take a little more bronzer. I want to look like a bronzed goddess. Okay, that's the look. I'm going to spray it. A little setting spray. Nikki says, Nikki Tutorials says, fan it. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Okay, that's it. This is the look. 
Hope you guys have a great fourth. Thanks for watching. Bye.